Alright, so uh, maybe you're thinking about doing a turkey skull and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I do um, to clean turkey skulls and the parts that I save and uh, different things that I do, different tips and tricks. Um, you're going to save the spurs, of course, and you'll, you'll save the beard. Um, you're going to clean your tail and get all the fat and the meat, grease. Uh, off the tail so that you can fan it and mount it. Probably want to pick out a nice uh, display board or panel uh, to mount your turkey tail with. And um, maybe I, I actually use uh, Dermested Beetles to clean uh, my turkey skulls. These uh, two skulls and the neck vertebrae and a uh, piece of the bottom jaw there, or the bottom jaw is, was actually just removed from uh, one of the beetle tanks. It's been rinsed off, and then I'll begin uh, the degreasing process. Um, some guys use Dawn uh, dishwashing detergent or dishwashing liquid uh, for it's a good degreaser. I use a uh, commercial um, hide degreaser, actually. You'll need some borax preservative powder um, for your um, beards even for the tail and you see I got uh, all the meat and fat off this tail and then I'll fan it out and um, once I fan it out and, and get the look I want then I'll use a Bondo actually uh, to keep it in place before I mounted on a panel or a plaque. Let's go over here to um, one of my domestic beetle tanks. You can see in here I've got a turkey skull and the neck. I placed this uh, the neck and the skull in there uh, yesterday actually and I'll take and remove the feathers and the skin off the vertebrae or off the neck I should say and off the skull or the head and you can see this, the uh, beetles have removed all the meat and fat off that skull and now they're working on the neck vertebrae removing all the meat, consuming all the meat. We can see some of the uh, vertebrae or bone here that's actually been exposed. The beetles are working on that. And they'll get in there and into every little crevice and they'll remove the meat as well as the uh, cartilage connective tissue. And they'll consume all that. One thing you want to be aware of that um, the beak is a uh, Similar to a fingernail, but it's protein, and uh, the beetles will also consume that. So you want to keep an eye on the uh, skull in your tank there. Don't leave it in too long, and they'll actually consume that beak. If you leave it in there too long, they'll consume the whole thing. But you can see this uh, skull. Shaky here. Let's see. The skull, they removed the eye and all the cartilage and meat from that skull. Using domestic beetles, I mean, they'll remove everything. I think they're still working on a little bit of uh, brain in there. I, I, I leave the brain and the eyes in there for a reason um, and that's just to keep the skull intact and one of the reason I leave the eyes in is so that the beetles and when they consume it they'll um, the sclerotic eye ring will still be intact and I'll show you those what they look like here um, 
These four rings here, the bones, are actually the sclerotic eye rings on a turkey. And they're a real fine bone. If you boil your skulls, these eye rings are going to dissolve. Um, there won't be much left of them. Now these are some uh, bones that connect to the bottom of the, the skull. Here's a bottom jaw. Another bottom jaw. The beak. I've, I've cut the spurs, cleaned the skin off of them. And I'll save all that for mounting later. Again, these uh, skulls here were just removed from the tank and rinsed from the bugs. And then I'll begin the uh, degreasing. Um, but these skulls are real clean. They, they look a little, they've got some blood in there and, and maybe some some grease on them and it tends to seep into the bone but once uh, they're properly degreased um, then I can take and begin the whitening process um, this skull has been whitened but I'm going to show you the difference the skull was actually boiled and you can see all the cartilage in there the fat and grease and skin and cartilage that uh, does not come out from boiling. Only beetles can get that skull 100% clean. Uh, you can get it white, but you're not going to get it clean. Um, another thing with, with boiling skulls is that uh, you tend to get a lot of bone separation, yeah, some bone loss. You'll lose the sclerotic uh, eye rings as well so um, take care of your skulls um, if they're real delicate um, turkey skulls bird skulls duck skulls pheasant skulls extremely delicate and um, if you want to do it right don't boil them use beetles use proper degreasing technique uh, be patient. Uh, save all the parts so you can articulate things. Uh, clean your tail real well so you can fan it out and uh, display it. Um, so next time you, you know, a lot of guys don't save the, the skulls. Uh, they'll save the, uh, they'll save the beards. They'll save the spurs, but they don't think about saving the skulls. And I, I think the skulls uh look really good once they've been uh, properly cleaned with domestic beetles and uh, again degreased and then whitened um, but again this is what happens when you boil them they don't get clean when you use beetles you won't see any of that connective tissue or fat on the skull and uh, this skull's a little wet probably not a great example but uh, I'll come back in another video uh, after I've degreased these and whitened them and articulated the bones back together um, and then uh, mounted the fan with the beard On uh, a real nice panel. This is a walnut turkey tail uh, panel. I'll put it all together, upload another video to show you how good this uh, all works when you put it all back together. Um, but the key thing is uh, be patient, uh, save all your parts, and uh, you should get a real nice clean turkey skull.